We all know rock slides happen in Colorado, but this week's slide in Glenwood Canyon combined with our weather is causing a big mess. We will now have to wait until this weekend before I-70 will reopen, and even then it will be limited traffic. Denver 7's Russell Haythorn is live in Lake County, discovering the closure is creating confusion for drivers trying to detour around I-70, Russell. Yeah, Eric, this road is clearly closed. You can see it's completely drifted over. This is one of these high mountain passes in Colorado that gets so much snow and flat. In fact, it's practically a blizzard right now. The plows can't keep up, so CDOT just closes it for the winter. The problem is with the I-70 rock slide closure, some GPS technology is sending drivers this route anyway, much to their frustration. Even with dozens of road signs warning drivers of the closures. Well, we're the Markle family. We've come out from uh, from Chicago. Those like this nice family from Chicago were just following their rental car GPS. We wanted to do a little scenic road trip, and we're here. And now we can't go any further, so now we're going to go back and see the other part of Colorado, I guess. The rock slide that shut down I-70 has hundreds of drivers turning to GPS or Google Maps, which is rerouting many Aspen-bound drivers to Independence Pass. Little do unsuspecting tourists know this road is closed all winter because of snow. The Markles aren't from here and didn't know this road was Independence Pass. They needed a sign saying something more like, The road is closed. You can't get to Aspen this direction. The Aspen Chamber estimates the I-70 closure will impact more than 50% of its bookings this weekend. They're recommending Amtrak for guests coming and going through Denver. Adding insult to injury, the Markles had options. We could have easily flown into Aspen, which we've done before, and the hotel has a shuttle and picks us right up and takes us to the hotel, but we flew into Denver and got a rental car because we wanted to make this a bit of an adventure, do a road trip for Isabel. And now it's quite the road trip. <laughs> And this is a problem on the other side of the pass as well, the Aspen side. The Aspen newspaper reporting that several truckers have tried to take the pass. And when they get to this closure, the road is so narrow, they have to unhitch just to turn around, which is taking up to two and three hours sometimes. As for the Markles, at this point right here, if this road had been open, they would have been about 20 to 30 minutes outside of Aspen. Instead, right now, they're on a five-hour detour. Live in Lake County, Russell Haythorn, Denver 7. Very frustrating. All right, thanks, Russell. And there are two alternate routes CDOT recommends you use. One is route north of I-70 and another south. The north route involves taking 131, U.S. 40, and Colorado 13 before getting onto I-70 near Rifle. The southern route uses U.S. 50 through Grand Junction.